Yes, hello, how's it going? Max here, and today welcome back to another video on my channel. It's been a while, I know, and I can only apologise for that. As you can see on your screen, I've got the new Spurs shirt on, absolutely buzzing with it, really happy with it, excited to jump into some fresh things on the channel. With the new season coming, we've obviously got FIFA coming up, I'm going to be doing Tottenham, Tottenham videos on that. Going to be going to some games, which I'll be telling you more about very soon, 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 on this video, and just overly excited to be able to get back into the grind of just making content for you guys the ones that support me the ones that smash the thumbs up button and if you do hit that thumbs up button right now because i appreciate it honestly people that tweet me people that snapchat me saying where have you been why are you not uploading simple if, I, if i'm not enjoying something i can't upload and the football season hasn't been here so i haven't been having that to enjoy and FIFA's just come to the end and there's just been i've been away i've been to devon for like 11 days so there's been a few things but not that that's an excuse, because if you follow me on Twitter, you will know this. If you follow me on Snapchat, you will know this. My Snapchat's here. Follow it, because you're going to be needing it, because these type of videos that I do, I'm going to be answering questions you guys send in, and that's how we're going to do it. So, first things first, Tottenham season ticket. Have I got one, yes or no? <laughs> half. I've got a half of a season ticket, so I'm doing well. I'm doing well considering. I've got my name stamped in there. I'm going to like, I'm sharing the season ticket. Me and my dad are going, we're sharing one. I say that we've, we'll both be going to the games, but we're sharing it with some other, another two couple basically. So I'll be going to two, um, I'll be going to a game with a dad. The other people will be going to the next one, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, it just alternates. I've got to choose the Arsenal game. I chose the Arsenal game, 100% going to that one. And I won't be going to the Chelsea one, but what's what's been happening like people have been popping up to me left right and center saying max i've got a ticket i've got a ticket so i'm hoping to go to as many home games as possible which will mean i'm bringing you vlogs so there's that i'm super excited for that because at the end of the day that's my passion that's what i want to get into I, I i thoroughly enjoy it and um hopefully that answers your question so as it stands burnley bournemouth palace stoke southampton everton arsenal city Leicester and obviously Liverpool I'll be going to they're the ones they're all on the list I'm 100% going to them let me know you're going to be going to the, any of them if you are I'll see you I might see you Wembley's a big place so we'll see anyway so I don't have to try and stop this video I'm literally going to try and just plow through keep it original no editing as in like what you see is what you get hopefully you're happy with it so i'm going to jump into some questions i'm trying to keep it a bit simple trying to keep it like talk tottenham because i've got videos coming tomorrow i'm recording with george tomorrow if you know who george akilia is he's going to be on my channel a lot more we're going to be doing some in real life football stuff i don't know why people always say in real life but it's coming i just want to let you guys know this is basically like a pilot episode videos are coming mate videos are coming and i'm excited i haven't quit when people say have you quit no let me stop rambling and let me jump into some of these questions. So I tweeted earlier saying I'm going to be filming a video tonight. All I need is football related questions from when I have been to games like best goal scene, etc. There's been some funny ones. Um, there's one I want to start on and that's best atmosphere. That was definitely 110% when we beat Chelsea 5-3. Place was going nuts. Best game I've been to just because when we were losing, you would have thought we were winning. The atmosphere was just incredible. The fans just carried the team that day and we were the 11th the 11th the 12th man we were the 12th man god this is how long away i've been from football i can't live without football where is it that we were the 12th man on the day harry kane stepped up got two for himself and that's where people actually started talking about kane but going back to the original comment best atmosphere was that game and that's when i had the season ticket and i was going to every single home game and that's probably where a lot of you guys might have seen me from as in like that's i just wish i still had it Ugh. Jordan says first game you went to now the first game I ever went to I think um, I've brought it up before and that was 2000 I think it was not I think it was the year 2000 it was either 2000 or 2001 Bobby Zamora scored for Spurs against West Ham in the cup I can't remember what the cup was called it was probably like the Carling Cup or something like that and we got the victory in extra time to put us through to the next round my granddad took me ah oh, brings back good memories just knowing that my granddad took me to that game. They're the things. They're the small things. You just got to remember. Johnny says, best player you have seen. Uh, that's quite an easy one for me. If I'm talking about being actual at the game and the players that are on the pitch, it's got to be Gareth Bale. And I'm talking for Spurs here. It, obviously, I've seen, like, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ridiculous. But Gareth Bale, 
Honestly, oh that guy every time he got the ball. He just felt like he was gonna do something He's gonna hit a 30 yard cross. He's gonna run with it He was just unbelievable what I'd do to see him back at the lane no matter what anyone says that guy was just ridiculous What is the best stadium you've been to not including White Hart Lane? Easy one for me. I haven't actually been to that many stadiums. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get to many away games People will be like, oh, you're a poor fan. I don't even listen to that But the best one I have been to has got to be Old Trafford um I'm not going by atmosphere, I'm going by actual looks inside. The place is just absolutely huge. I thought it was brilliant and I went there and saw Spurs lose 1-0 against a, a Mkhitaryan goal and that was last season. But best stadium, thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it, obviously. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Matt says, best fans you've seen apart from Spurs. Now, off the top of my head, I always think foreign clubs instantly because their fans are just ridiculous. They throw flares and all of this and they just take their shirts off and they swing them around and they just go nuts. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they don't get cold, but... UEFA Cup, 110%. don't know why I keep saying that, but Besiktas or a team like Galatasaray. Like, the Turkish clubs just seem to be unbelievable. The Greek clubs also, they just seem to go mental. I think it was Panathinaikos. Panathinaikos and definitely Besiktas. Fans are just silly. Or Olympiakos. It's like, it's one of those. It's, it's those type of teams that they just don't stop going on. They're, they're honestly unbelievable. Adam says, did you ever get to go on the pitch at White Hot Lane? I didn't, unfortunately, mate. I wish I got to. But the closest I got to that, I got to have, like, a day out before the game against Millwall. Where you guys saw, I probably got I got to go in the changing rooms. I got to see down the tunnel. I got to see Hall of Fame, go upstairs, check out all the nice rooms. It was just a great, great experience. That's the closest I have got to stepping on the pitch. Um, I've sat in Pochettino's chair, so... That's obviously been knocked down now, so that's something that will stay with me for the rest of my life, obviously, because that's quite a big achievement. This is an interesting one from Robbie. It says, worst game you've ever been to. Now, I actually had to obviously look back to see what year it is. It was 2014, Spurs at home, Crystal Palace, nil-nil. And it wasn't even like a crossbar, a post, some fouls, some free kicks, a penalty. Mate, it was the most boring game I think I've ever seen. Boring. Nil-nil against Palace. Don't even want to think about it, it was that boring. And just before I wrap this video up, guys, if you have watched this, just smack that thumbs up button. Drop a comment what you want to see. I'm going to be filming soon with my dad as well. That's going to be coming. I'm going to be filming with George. I'm going to be filming with, hopefully, Expressions, some other Spurs YouTubers. And then just see how it goes. Jumping into some Snapchat, quick questions. I've asked people to obviously tweet um, far and away at me. Vaycar says, what is the most atmospheric ground you've been to? Apparently, well, I just so happen to have already answered that one. Nick says, most in, most annoying person you've ever sat next to. Now, funnily enough, when I had my season ticket for the three years where I sat in the same place, North Lower, buzzing, best time of my life at Spurs, sitting on my left, absolute legend of a bloke, but he was the most loudest fella I've ever heard in my life. So, and he's about, he weighed about 30 stone. So... As well as being cramped, he's starting all of these chants and that. <laughs> While I'm sitting there like like this, like next to him. I mean, you, you'd have to go back and see some of the vlogs. He's probably in them. He was, he was an absolute legend. I love the guy. But you know where you're just like, we're winning or we're drawing. Or whatever stage in the game, you're tired. Say it's pissing down. Oh, The fact this says most annoying person you've sat next to is just him. Like there's, there's a few others around that I can say were bloody annoying. But this guy sat next to me, legend, love the guy. I'd love him to see this because I just don't, I don't, can't even remember his name. But he used to start all the chants and you know the ones that don't get going. So he'll say some random one and then no one else knows the words to. So it's just a little bit cringe, but you'd laugh. Oh, guy. Oh. Funnily enough, checking through some of these questions on Snapchat, I've already answered them. They're just worded a little bit differently, like best atmosphere. Who have I seen best atmosphere at Water Lane? Best player. Um, so on that note, I think I'm going to leave it there. If you have watched this till the end, tell me what you think. Tell me what videos you want to see, because without knowing, I don't know what videos to upload for you guys. Some of you are going to be saying, obviously, FIFA. Some of you are going to be saying go and record football with the others and I'll see I will try 100% going to try my best obviously I'm working a lot more now and that's not an excuse I'm going to try my best vlogs will be coming smash that thumbs up button have a day off see you guys soon take care bye bye for now